Hi everyone, it's a beautiful sunny California day and today I'm going to share some tips on camping and things that you might find interesting. Stick around! I'll start with overnight camping and light in a campsite. I have something that I've implemented for myself. It's easy to implement, it's simple to incorporate, and it's pretty inexpensive to get. I myself have a trailer that I uh, implemented this on, but this can be implemented on a, an overland rig, on a trailer, on a roof rack, a bunch of different things. So let's go to my trailer and I'll show you what I did. I see people install lights on strings and you know run them between their rig and a tree and hang some battery powered lights people use headlamps people use flashlights um, i use those as well but for the campsite when we open the the tailgate of the trailer or if you have a truck open the tailgate of the truck and sit with your kids and eat and play board game or whatever else people do while they camp it's nice to have a porch light of sort and what I did is I installed solo lights on the edges of my trailer and I'll show you how I did that. This is my trailer. It's an M1102 military trailer. It's all set up inside, which I'll show um, in another time. I got these two solo lights. These are meant for pathways and walkways. People put them on the front of the house. They are motion sensor activated. They are pretty good. You can set uh, some level of sensitivity. There's a button in the back here. You can either turn them on or turn them off even when it's dark. And they are very inexpensive. I'll put a link in the description for the actual item. All I did is put a strip, strip of Velcro here, a strip of Velcro on the trailer, and just stick them there. Anytime there's a movement in, in the vicinity of the edge of the trailer, the light comes on. Now you can do this with Velcro. You can, um, there's a little nail hoop on the light itself. You can put a bolt or a screw or a nail. Uh, but this is what I chose to do. Uh, it's very easy to, to stick in and it stays there. And I, I also got a very heavy duty Velcro, which you don't have to get. This one is pretty expensive. I'll put a link in the description as well. But I can leave the light there, drive around all day in, a, in an off-road setup, uh, bouncy and rugged, and the light stays on. Even though I can leave these hanging on the trailer and then they're not gonna go anywhere, I usually don't, because I do not want to take a chance of getting to the campground and find out that one of them is missing or stolen. I usually, take them off, put them on the dashboard uh, of my truck. And it stays there, obviously the window is right there and they get charged and when I get to the campground, they're fully charged. And it takes all of a second and a half to take them out of the truck and Velcro them to the side of the trailer. Uh, the light is nice and bright and it really gives the, the, the atmosphere of a porch. So there you go, a really simple, easy and inexpensive way to keep your campsite lit. Uh, please subscribe and I'll keep posting videos of different things that I've set up for my trailer, for my truck, camping, overlanding and so forth.